Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how can you add individual notes per each appointment inside of Go High Level. Now, here's a little preview of how they look like. As you can see here, we're able to add notes here. And this is under the calendar section. So if you already have an appointment here and maybe you're following up that person and there has been some update, you can actually go to that specific appointment. And once you click on that, you can head over to notes here. And then here you'll be able to add notes or if you've already added them, you will be able to see them here. And there's one more interface where you can see these. So if you head over to the contact details, this is the contact section for this person. And you will also find them here under notes, just like the regular notes, along with the date and the person who added the note. Now, there's three ways on how these notes could be added for individual appointments. So number one is this interface where I'm at right now, which is under calendars and under the calendar view, you can go to any kind of appointment here. And once you click on that, it will open up the notes section here. And then you can add a note here, which will be saved. And you will also view that under the contact and notes section. So that is interface or way number one. Then the second way to do this is let's say if a customer is booking an appointment and I will pretend to be a customer, I will make a booking in this calendar here, fill out the details. And now you'll see that we have additional information in by default. So if I fill in anything as a customer here, that will also show up under notes because this can be really helpful, especially if you're going to have a call with that person and you can see what they typed in under the additional information, which can help you to prepare for that appointment. This will be really beneficial for you. So if I type in here, I am looking for an expert to guide me with this language. So I'll just type that in as a demo. I'll confirm this and then I'll just book the class here. So in a few moments, once this is done, we'll head back here, then go to appointments and I'll click on all. And this is the appointment that we just booked as a customer. So I'll open this contact up and then go to appointments. We will see that the booking we made now has an additional note here, which is I'm looking for an expert to guide me with this language. So this is the exact information we typed in under the additional notes section when booking the appointment. So when you do it that way, it will show up right here, not under the notes section, but right under that specific appointment as an additional info, which we can see right here. Now, the third and last way is to do it from a synchronized calendar. So as you know that the calendars in Go High Level can be synchronized with Google, Outlook, or iCloud. So if you add it from any of these calendars, that should also reflect under the notes for that contact for that specific appointment. So let's try that out. I have an appointment synchronized with the Google Calendar. So I'll go here and then I'll just click on notes. And you can see here we can create meeting notes, right? So if I click on that, and if I type in anything here, let's say we type that in, we discuss the basics of French language as this is a French class calendar. So let's say we type that in, I'm going to hit on save. And it's up to you can click on do not send or send that's up to you, it will not affect the notes thing. So I'll just click on do not send for now. So this will save. And within a few seconds, it should reflect under this person. So I'll click on this appointment, which is the same appointment here called appointment demo. So I've clicked on this person. And now if I open their contact, which we should see in a few seconds, and then head over to appointments here, we'll see in a moment that under that appointment, we can see a note now which says we discussed the basics of French language. So it is actually reflecting under that specific appointment. So you can see that it works perfectly. The only difference is that when you add a note yourself from the calendar interface, face, it will show up under the notes section here. But once the user does it from their view, like additional information, or if they do it from a calendar, which is synchronized with go high level, then it will show up under here. So this is how it will work. And you can use this to your advantage to streamline your booking workflow, and make sure that you have an effective communications, especially if you have multiple people managing appointments and doing follow ups. That was about this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you.